Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to our series of Azure Active Directory and in this video I'm going to talk about users and AAD Connect sync rules. Now in the last video we have discussed the installation process and what are the different accounts used by AAD Connect. I've also shown you some of the logs that you can refer to if you are getting any error while installing AAD Connect. The scope of this video will be knowing types of users in Azure Active Directory and understanding the theoretical part which is related to sync rules and what are the different type of sync rules which are created, what is the purpose of inbound rule and what is the purpose of outbound rule. So if we talk about the type of identities in Azure Active Directory, this is not something new. This is something which I have already covered, but just a quick overview so that whenever I'll explain sync identities, everything will make a lot of sense. So for cloud identities are those identities which are directly created on portal.azure.com. So what do I mean by this? That if I go to portal.azure.com, I can click on this option of new user and then I can create a user object in this particular directory and then I can assign licenses or different applications and the user will be able to log in with the provided credentials. But there is one more option which is listed here and that is called new guest user. This option means that you are inviting those users which do not exist in your directory. That means they could be either your vendors or partners now, the users whom you are inviting, they can be a Azure Active Directory user object or they can be a customer which have their own on-prem environment as well as you can invite uh, the users who have social IDP accounts. Now, this term actually refers to Azure AD B2B and this is something which I have already covered in a lot more detail and for that if you guys want you can watch these two videos it's already there on the channel and I have tried to cover most of the information that you should know in terms of B2B. Now synced identities are those identities which are synced from on-prem to Azure Active Directory. For cloud identities, the authentication will always be processed by Azure Active Directory because you are creating the user object in Azure Active Directory. For synced identities, if you are using password sync, then the authentication will be done by Azure Active Directory. And cloud identities are those identities where the managed domains are required. So you cannot have a federated domain and get an account created in Azure Active Directory. Whereas for synced identities, you have federated identity model as well. In case of federated identity model, you must have an IDP on-prem that will be doing the first step of authentication and then a token will be given to Azure Active Directory. Also, in case of pass-through authentication, the first validation of credential is done on-prem. That's why we install those agents. But both the identities, cloud and synced, can be managed from portal as well as PowerShell. Now, this is moreover related to everything which is having a scope of uh, related to users. Now moving on to the next part of this particular video and that is understanding sync rules. Now I assume that you guys have a basic understanding of AAD Connect architecture and how sync rule works. If you guys don't have the basic understanding then you guys can watch this playlist. These two videos and in, in these two videos I have covered every aspect which is moreover related to filtering. And you can also watch this video, which is AAD Connect Architecture Fundamental. Now, if you guys have already, you know, you know how architecture and how sync works, then uh, whatever I'm going to explain will make a lot of sense. But if you guys want to understand everything very deeply and let's move on with a deep dive, then I would suggest you to watch all the videos which I have shared. So now the very first fundamental is that whenever object is synced from on-prem to Azure Active Directory, we use a tool called AAD Connect. And the option that we select to launch that particular tool is synchronization service. But there is one more option called synchronization rule editor. And 
that lists all the rules which are created out of the box now I said that all the rules created out of the box because you do have the privilege to create your own custom rules and the basic fundamental of all these rules is to define how a attribute will be synced from on-prem to Azure Active Directory if I talk very precisely it is termed as attribute flow mapping now the entire process of sync rules happens inside the database which AAD Connect use as an application. So if we talk about the architecture fundamental, it has three logical subdivision. The first one is local AD connector space. The next one is metaverse and the last one is Azure AD connector space. And we also know that the information or the attributes or let's say the user objects or any objects the information related to any of these objects are being updated from local AD connector space to metaverse as well as from Azure AD connector space to metaverse and vice versa. So if we talk about the core concepts, what happens that inside this database, when the information is being sent from local AD connector space or from Azure AD connector space, inbound rules are applied whereas when the information is sent from a metaverse to both these connector space outbound rules are applied now let's talk about this in more detail with the help of a particular user object the first step to sync an object from on-prem to azure active directory is the process of running import cycle so when we run import on our local AD connector, a replica or a view of that particular object gets created in local AD connector space. Now this information will be sent to metaverse. That means when you run sync process, what will happen? This replica of object or this view object will also be created in your metaverse and the rules which will get applied will be inbound rules. Now the reason why I'm saying this again and again because all the attribute flow mapping and in terms of uh, you know getting the name of attributes changed as per the object type is defined in these rules itself. So what change you will observe that when an object is synced from on prem to azure active directory and when a replica of that object is created in metaverse sam account name attribute gets changed to account name user account control gets changed to account enabled and object grid gets changed to source anchor now when i say change it actually means that there is an attribute that is associated with the user object type in metaverse that is named as account name and it is querying the value which is currently present in the SAM account name attribute. The same process happens for Azure AD connector space as well. So that means when any attribute has to be written back to your local AD, likewise in those kind of environments where you have exchange hybrid setup, there are some attributes which are written back to your local AD in those kind of scenarios the rules which will query or which will copy the value from your Azure AD connector space and then update them in metaverse will be inbound rules associated with Azure AD connector space. The same process goes for outbound updates as well. So you will have inbound rules as well as outbound rules. In inbound rules, the information will come from your connector space to metaverse and in outbound rules the information will come from metaverse to your connector space now let's understand the entire sync rule hierarchy in a nutshell if we talk about the two core logical subdivisions it is ad connector space and aad connector space from where the information will be sent to metaverse and from metaverse it will be sent to these two connector space so sync rule in a nutshell is being defined object type. What do I mean by this? That for every object type, 
there will be sync rules now understand this that user group and devices these three object types can have some same attributes and some different attributes so that means what in order to define the attribute flow mapping for all these three object types we need three different kind of rules that means what for each and every object type there will be two kind of rules inbound and outbound now since there is a change that is updated in ad connector space let's say for an example and that has to be sent to metaverse for metaverse it's actually an inbound action so that's the reason why the rule is named as in from ad and then the object type the same goes for your aad connector space as well so that means what for users object or let's say for user object type there will be two inbound rules there will be two categories of in inbound rules very precisely the first one will be related to your local ad connector space and the other one will be related to your azure ad connector space the same process goes for outbound rules as well that means from metaverse the information can be sent to your local ad connector space as well as your azure ad connector space and the same process goes on for all the object types so what do i mean by this that for every object type you will have inbound rules and outbound rules and the best part is that depending upon the direction of attribute flow whether it is inbound and outbound the rules are named accordingly so those rules which are sending information from connector space to metaverse are named as in from ad as you can see right now i am highlighting the group and those rules which will send the information from metaverse to the respective connector space will be named as outbound so this is all about knowing the theoretical part of sync rules what sync rules are how they work in a nutshell in the next video i'm going to talk about the lab setup or how you should go ahead and check all the information that is related to sync rules how you can figure out which attribute value is contributed by which sync rule if you guys have learned something new please feel free to subscribe and if you have any feedback query or suggestion please feel free to reach me at learnconceptswork at gmail.com thank you so much guys thanks for your time bye bye